What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're going to check out some awesome battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, pscott428, so shout out to this battler. They are bringing Community Day Shadow Alolan Sand Slash there. Alolan Sandshrew and Shadow Polyrath. So it'll be interesting to see how the Alolan Sand Slash performs with Shadow Claw. But let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, getting into this first battle, we have Polyrath on the lead versus Lapras. Okay, pretty good matchup right here, especially on the lead, and we will likely see a swap out at some point. But the Lapras wanting to load up on energy and tries to catch the charge move. That is a beautiful swap into the Hypno, but. Thankfully, they held on to the energy and go for the Scald right here. We see the swap now into a Alolan Sand Slash. With that Shadow Claw, it can do incredibly well here. And they're going to go straight for the Ice Punch. Hopefully, this does enough neutral damage to take out the Hypno. But Hypno hangs on with 1 HP in a Dream and is able to get to the Charge Move. Now, is this going to be a Fire Punch? No, it's just going to be a Thunder Punch. Alolan Sand Slash hangs on and farms down. Now, we do see Lapras come in right away. Again, wanting to load up on as much energy as they can, but at some point, they're going to have to throw Surf, and that is what we are going to see right here as a Surf comes through, but not enough damage to take it out. They're going to go ahead and try to go for a Bulldoze now, doing as much neutral damage as they can in the matchup, but if Lapras can farm down enough energy, they might be able to get to a Skull Bash now versus the Polyrath. We will have to see, but Alolan Sand Slash hangs on and gets to one more Ice Punch. Is this going to force a shield now from the opponent? No shield right there. They hang on and try their best to farm down, so we will see the Sand True come in and try to Powder Snow down, hoping to absorb the Skull Bash, but it is going to be the Skull Bash and tanks it like a champ, and we do see a dragon air in the back so that is that's gonna be a good game very well played as alolan sand true now amazing typing and amazing move set to take down the dragon air and the opponent knows it so good game very well played all right moving into the next battle we have Let's see here. We have Polyrath on the lead versus Raticate. All right, so another really good matchup right here. Has to watch out for Hyper Fang or Hyper Beam, and this Raticate does have Quick Attack. So Raticate can stay in this matchup, right? It just needs to be worried about Dynamic Punch. So we're probably going to see a Shield Force here very early, but wow, okay, the Raticate decided to no shield right there. That was very risky, and we will see a swap out now into Sandshrew, hoping to get to a charge move. But Raticate loaded on energy, should be able to unload a couple crunches right here which do some nice neutral damage no defense drop though but again it's loaded on energy quick attack even though it's widely not used can still gain energy pretty well so two crunches right there and they get the defense drop so they're gonna have to go for the night slash now in order to take out the radicate but can radicate hold on it does have that dark typing which will resist and it does it's gonna be able to farm down in a simultaneous ko there in the mid game let's see what the pokemon in the back are gonna be both trainers waiting to the last second to bring it in, and they're going to bring in the <laughs> Lowland Sand Slash, and there was a Gold Bat right there and a Nidal Queen. So they decided to surrender. So that's going to be a good game, very well played. All right, moving to the next one, we got Polyrath versus Polyrath on the lead here. Now, Dynamic Punch, thankfully, does neutral damage here, but Scald, Hydro Pump, Ice Punch, all are going to be resisted, and we will see the first Dynamic Punch come through. You might as well just go for it in case they decide to no shield right here, but they do get a shield early. That's pretty big, especially with the back line of Sand True and Sand Slash, so we will see a no shield. And they know shield a nice punch. That is a huge call right there. Looking to keep shield advantage for themselves. And here comes the next charge move. And they're going to go ahead and shield the potential dynamic punch. And it was the dynamic punch. That's a huge call right there. Perfectly timing the shield. And we do see a swap yet again into a hypno. So the scald right here. Going to chip down the health. And we will likely see that fast swap right away into the Alolan Sand Slash. Shadow Claw looking incredibly strong. And going for the ice punch right away. Trying to force that final shield because if Hypno decides to no shield, it's going to take this mid game right here and Ice Punch does land. Hypno down, one shield left, Polyrath, and we don't know what the third Pokemon is going to be. If they're going to decide to bring back in the Polyrath right here, obviously needs to go for Dynamic Punch, but any chip damage is going to be very welcomed here. So even though Ice Punch is resisted, doing a little bit extra will really help out in the end game. Shadow Claw still tearing this thing apart, but Polyrath knows that in order to win this game, they need as much energy as possible, and they're going to go ahead and shield the Dynamic Punch right there. Very risky, trying to go for one more Ice Punch. 
looking to force the final shield from Polyrath, and we may see a sack swap as well. So we'll have to see what they decide to do. Polyrath is low, and they're going to go ahead and swap and catch the charge move on their own Polyrath. But is this going to be the dynamic punch? And it is! Boom! Polyrath goes down, Sandslash comes back in and farms down, but no, throws the ice punch right away, making sure that they can take out Polyrath, and it's all going to be about that final Pokemon in the back, and it's going to be a Lickitung. So a very tough Pokemon still to take down, has access to Power Whip, which is still going to do a decent amount of damage, and Lick as well is really going to start adding up, but they really need to get into that Sand True if they can, but Lickitung is going to go ahead and fully farm down, so now it's going to be a race between the damage from Lickitung tongue and getting to blizzard as quickly as this sand true can we'll have to see if it can hang on here comes the first charge move moves are going to be resisted here though as the power whip will be resisted by the steel typing there but still sand true a bit bulkier than i thought it was going to be in this matchup i thought power whip was going to do like twice as much right there but honestly body slams as well not doing too much and they're going to be able to get to this blizzard in time the first boom from the video coming from a mighty little sand true Boom! Takes out the Lickitung, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right, moving to the next one. We got Polyrath versus Nidal Queen. Very nice matchup right here. Honestly, the whole team can beat a Nidal Queen, so they're just going to go ahead and swap into Sand Slash, predicting a potential tank in the back. And a tank there was. Snorlax did decide to swap in right here, and thankfully, Ice Punches do neutral damage. But honestly, the Shadow Claws really um, negatively affecting the Alolan Sand Slash right here. Powder Snow would have been a bit nicer for neutral damage, but they have to watch out for Super Power. But meanwhile, these Ice Punches are really starting to add up. Here comes the first charge move now from Snorlax, but not in time. They held on far too long, and they will be forcing the first shield of this game, which is huge for them. So they do get a shield now from Snorlax, and they can just let this thing go. Yeah, come back in with the Polyrath and farm down. Super Power... Boom! Takes out the Sand Slash, and they know it. They're coming right in with the Polyrath. They're going to decide to shield this next superpower and farm down with Mudshot, as Mudshot is going to gain energy very quickly, and they should have a Scald, or very near a Scald, by the time the Nidal Queen comes back in. So here comes the Nidal Queen. They have the Scald ready to go. Will Nidal Queen think this is just an Ice Punch? Let's find out. Here comes a Scald, and it lands! Boom! for super effective damage and we see a simultaneous swap out sand true into lickitung here comes the blizzard but that is looking to be a good game very well played Polyrath is going to be able to take this one as long as it saves a shield and we know the sand true right here can tank all the charge moves in the world and the opponent knows it as well and they're going to decide to surrender so good game very well played lots of surrenders today with this team all right, moving next one, we got Polyrath versus Shiny Sand Slash on the other side. We will see a swap out right away into Hypno, and this time we see the Sand Slash come right in as well. But like previous matchups we've seen, it comes in at about 50% HP. Now it's in at full health, and it's going to be forced to shield. And they do have Fire Punch. That is very unfortunate for this Sand Slash. But thankfully, they will be able to get to these Ice Punches in time. They have two loaded, so they can throw another one if they really need to. And they do force a shield right there, so they're going to go ahead and throw the second one right away. This might just do enough damage in the matchup, as that is a Shadow Hypno. But they decided to double shield, so the Sand Slash now can fully shield and might just be able to fully farm down right here with Shadow Claw. Switch Claw coming back up as well, so watch out for a Sack Swap. But Sand Slash can farm down with Shadow Claw, taking Switch advantage in the opponent decides to moral of the story these this team is making opponents surrender so that is a good game very well played i believe that was a straight 5-0 right there with yeah it was a 5-0 with polyrath um shadow community day alolan sand slash and alolan sand true very cool very fun team right there and again huge shout out to ps scott 428 for sharing these battles with us so like always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one